Hello. Welcome. This video is about the best boots I've ever owned. Zero shoe Chelsea boot. They are amazing. Leather construction and rubber sole, really simple. Someone first told me about zero drop shoes, like not too long before I got these. And you can do your research yourself, but I mean, it feels right to me. Zero drop, zero degree, whatever zero drop means that your heel and your toes uh, as well as um, not having an arch, just a basic uh, minimal shoe uh, is said to be better for everything all around, better for your joints, your hips, your movement, which I'm, I, I mean, I, I think I might agree with because they're so comfortable, the most comfortable shoe ever. So check it. I am... It, mostly a nine, sometimes a nine and a half. So I went with a 10. These are UK sizes. And I think for whatever reason, uh, UK sizes run a little small. So if you're like a women's seven, but maybe you also are seven and a half, definitely go with an eight. So kind of go a full size, but at least go a half size is sort of the theory there. So I got a women's 10 and I usually wear a women's nine, nine and a half. They fit so good. They, you slide right in. There's plenty of room around the heel. Like I, I'm slender, but I have like, like athletic legs. So to get into this shoe comfortably and not have it be too tight. So I bought the Blundstones in a previous video. You'll see that I was reviewing those. Those, since I had re had returned, they just weren't comfortable around the ankle. And I think I got a size too small. Again, I believe those are UK sizes as well. So really, uh, I could have gone up another half size. I, <laughs> I tried the nine, then I tried the nine and a half, and then I realized, okay, I probably could have gone with the 10, but it was still, the nine and a half was still super uncomfortable around this. So that was the Blundstone. Then I tried extra tough uh, shoes similar to um, a fisherman boot, extra tough. Um, so they're made for like no scuff bottoms for being on boat decks. Uh, so I tried those and uh, those were aren't, those were like, like if, you, if you're looking at a car Relating it to a shoe, you would say that that is the sport versus the uh, the premium package. So an extra tough is like a sporty shoe. I wanted something like a little more premium. Uh, but meanwhile, this shoe I think can pro provide everything I'm looking for. I'm looking for a good walking shoe. Uh, I'm looking for short hikes perhaps and something that I can just slide right into, uh, even barefoot maybe but most often I'll probably be wearing a sock. That's another good thing. If you go a little bit bigger, you could wear these in cooler climates with a big thick wool sock. And if you ask me, I think that's a cute look. Uh, I like to wear these with shorts, jeans, pants, skirts. I like to have an all around shoe, or excuse me, an all around boot that I can wear with all my styles. So let me show you how, this is the uh, this is the test I did in the last video with the Blundstones, the COE. Easy, we can slide into these. Dude. And there's some wiggle room in there. Like they're kind of loose. I like that. And they just look cute. Let's see another angle. This is the POV. I think they're adorbs. And again, they're like, kind of reminds me of a moccasin, but this is like everything in a moccasin that is good. Minus the, the baddie. All around, these remind me of a moccasin. So it's like you are more in tune with the earth. Right? So yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I would give these shoes a 10 out of 10. These are my favorite shoes I think I've ever had. And I've had a lot of shoes. 
uh, boots especially. Boots are my thing. Um, I like skate shoes because they kind of have that minimal uh, board feel. So yeah, these boots, go get them. I got them from their website, Zero Shoes with an X. Uh, I'll put the information uh, down below. But I spent $150 uh, plus shipping. And I think the shipping came out to be uh, the difference of, I want to say $15 because I think I spent $165 on these. So they're definitely not low end. They're not the top of the line, but they're right down the middle. I think anyone should expect to spend that on a leather boot that they're going to wear a lot. If it's just something that you're not gonna wear very often, then I wouldn't recommend spending 150 plus shipping on something you're not gonna wear very often. But hopefully this uh, helps you decide what boot you want because uh, it's, it's hard to shop online, you know, for shoes you, if you can't try it on. So I hope this helped and let me know if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll get back to you because I take the time for you. Thanks. Bye.